Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. You know, I posted a couple of videos. I talked about Roger Goodell and the kind of money that he gets paid. Not that he earns, that he gets paid. We don't know any longer because they no longer have to report. But I believe in 2015, and for the two years prior, for a total of three years, he made over $100 million. In one of the years, he made $40 million. That's equivalent to $769,230.76 per week. Or $19,230.76 per hour. Or $320.51 cents per minute or five dollars and thirty nine cents per second. Now are you telling me that this worthless NFL commissioner is worth that kind of money? Huh? <laughs> the President of the United States makes half of that. In Trump's case he makes nothing. The article is posted on Western Journalism. There's also an embedded video. Day after NFL player kneels during anthem, Trump sends Roger Goodell a message he can't ignore. Quote, the commissioner has lost control of the hemorrhaging league. Players are the boss. Trump wrote in an apparent jab at NFL commissioner Roger Goodell. Come on, that guy's a joke. Trump's comments followed New York Giants defense and Oliver Vernon's decision to kneel as a master sergeant of the U.S. Army sang the national anthem before Thanksgiving night game. Most of these folks are of the African persuasion, by the way. Trump has repeatedly called on NFL owners to fire or suspend players that kneel during the national anthem. So now there's discussion among the owners to keep the players in the locker room while the anthem's being played. Trump tweeted that he feels that that's just as bad. Folks, I don't know how this is going to shake out, but there's no question that Trump's tweets are having a very significant negative impact on the NFL. The 6.3% rating dip exceeded the 5.6 to 5.7% slumps recorded in the previous three weeks. It's going to continue as it should. Americans that enjoy football, many of them are true patriots. They're not going to put up with this bullshit. And who the hell's worth $5.39 every second? Huh? <laughs> That's based on a 40 hour week. And these dirtbags probably don't put in 10 hours a month, let alone 40 hours a week. Now you know why your tickets are so expensive. And now you know why a hot dog is so expensive. And now you know why a cup of beer is so expensive. They're screwing the American people so they can pay these worthless, whatever they are, running around chasing a football, millions of dollars a year. They got to get it from someone. And that someone is you. Read the article and let me know what you think. You got a darn good idea as to what I think, don't you?